start the front gate. It's where you check in. Dump station is right there, man. It's easy to get to on your right on your way out. So in this section, this video, we're going to run from the front gate down to the boat ramp area. Come back up to the campground loops. We might get to see some deer. I saw three on my way in. There goes a chaparral. Bet we got a lot of wind noise. We can solve that by tucking it in. There we go. All right, got new batteries in the scooter. While I was installing the new batteries, I put some padding in the battery compartment so we don't have to hear the rattle of those batteries as I hit the bumps. They have a fishing, a couple of fishing docks. And just look at this. Isn't this beautiful? And there's the boat ramp. far down here we can go but we'll check it out certainly can't go all the way down to the fishing dock we can get down here and take a look Go check out campground loops. One thing that's unique here that I've yet to experience anywhere else is a double gate. So you got the front gate. And then the campground loop actually has a gate. So you have to get a code.
slow children at play. That's not a very nice thing to say. Oh, lost the ball cap. Got a squeaky break. Well, that's a cool little travel trailer right there. Kind of wishing I'd have picked one of these sites when I was making my reservation now. Man, that's gorgeous. Casita. One thing I do want to let you know, the roads are narrow. So if you have a large RV, you're gonna find it a little bit tight. But you can still make it through. Just gotta be mindful of your tail end. This is the loop that we're camping on. Showers, restrooms. And there's another one out in the middle. I think it's a gravel path to get to it.
There we are, right there. Site number 124. kind of odd having a gravel road going to the showers and restrooms. put a new front tire on the scooter more suitable to non-paved surfaces Working seem to be working really good got a lot of bite all right well that pretty well wraps up our tour Jim Hogg State or Jim Hogg Park, not a state park. This is um, a Corps of Engineers property. You can make your reservations through the .gov site. That was what I did. I have a Passport America pass, so it, it's costing us ten dollars a night. Not bad for $10 a night. Not bad at all. But hey, I appreciate all you guys who watch and follow my video work. Cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. I am actually so flattered.